Hello guys, welcome to Anchor of Hope. Anchor of Hope will serve as the daily discovery of the hope of the world. and the anchor of our soul, who is Jesus Christ, our Lord. Especially at this most challenging time. Anchor of Hope will follow through the daily passages of our daily bread, Annual Edition, Volume 27. For the year 2021, I will provide you daily insights and thoughts about the daily bread duty in hopes and prayer that it may reach out to you and touch your life. This I pray that you will find the anchor of hope today. We are now on Daily Bread Day 12, entitled, God is Every Man. Our passage for today is Matthew 25, verses 37 to 40. So I am reading from the King James Version. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee an hungered, and fed thee, or thirst thee, and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick, or in prison, and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto him, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done unto unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee unhungered, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? In this verse, the people asked Jesus, When did we saw you hungry, and when did we feed you? When were you thirsty, and when did we give you a drink? When saw we thee a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? The people asked Jesus, When did we saw you as a stranger that we took in that is naked? When did we cloth you? Or when saw we thee sick or in prison and came unto thee? When did we see you sick or in jail? When did we come to visit you while you are in prison? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. And the Lord will only answer, Verily I say unto you, whatsoever you do to your brothers or others, you also do to me. I was like, wow. In here, Jesus is saying he is every man. 1 Corinthians 11, 3 says, but I want you to realize that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is man, and the head of Christ is God. Jesus is the head of every man, and his head is God. Therefore, God is the head of every man. Head here means the mind of the human. Head also means the principal or the chief of every man. God is the chief of God is the chief and principal of every man's life. God has the highest position is above all. He is on the top of every man. He is above every human being and all creation. Conclusion and Application I think the message of this Bible study is very clear. It speaks of the golden rule. Matthew 7 verse 12 Therefore all things whatsoever you would that men should do to you, do ye even to them, for this is the law and the prophets. The golden rule means three of the following according to Wikipedia. 
treat others as you would like others to treat you. That is the positive form. Do not treat others in ways that you would not like to be treated. That is the negative form. What you wish upon others, you wish upon yourself. Emphatic form. Do not do unto others what you do not want others to do unto you. Do unto others what you want others to do unto you. I would like to share a song entitled Every Man by, Cast by Casting Crowns with an excerpt. I'm the man with all I've ever wanted, all the toys and playing games. I am the one who pours your coffee, corner booth each Saturday. I am your daughter's favorite teacher, I'm the leader of the band. I sit behind you in the bleachers. I am every man. My conclusion is God is every man in our life. He can be anyone. Therefore, be good to anyone that does not matter whether he or she is poor, rich, or poor in life. For God favors everyone that fears him and does righteous acts. In our previous lesson, Daily Bread 10, it is said that God does not show favoritism. In that Bible study, as long as God favors you, you will be anointed by the Holy Spirit to do good and what is right and that God is always with you. Dear God, our Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much for this message again, Lord, dear God. Thank you so much for telling us that you are the God and you are every man, oh dear God. Teach us how to be good to everyone, oh Lord that we should choose who should be we are going to be good but to anyone and to everyone Lord dear God help us oh Lord and be with us all the way in Christ's most precious name I pray Amen <music>